Good morning. It's Friday, June 4th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Morning Praise, and our scripture is Psalm 138. I give you thanks, O Lord, with all my heart. I will sing your praises before the gods. I bow before your holy temple as I worship. I praise your name for your unfailing love and faithfulness, for your promises are backed by all the honor of your name. This is one of my favorite psalms. It's David, the king, former shepherd boy, giant killer, musician to and defender of Israel's King Saul, adulterer, murderer, conspirator, warrior, coward, hero, humble object of Samuel's long, bony, pointing finger of accusation, penitent, sinner-turned-saint, who became the model for those who would be a man after God's own heart. Acts chapter 13. David, a man about whom God said, I found David, a son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will do everything I want him to do. Why is this one of my favorites? Well, with all of David's resume, he stands not on his accomplishments. He doesn't sing along with Frank Sinatra, I did it my way. David takes a deep breath, stands before all the so-called lesser gods of the universe, and points his soul and all that's within him towards heaven's throne and leaves no doubt about who deserves praise. David bows before Yahweh's throne and declares he's chosen to serve Almighty God, Jehovah Jireh, the King of Heaven's hosts. David validates what the world cannot deny. Every promise of God is backed by the honor of his name. And there's no other name given among men whereby anyone can be saved. David views God as his omniscient, omnipresent, and omnipotent King of Kings, the God who cannot fail. David is content to serve that God alone, no matter what anyone else may say to him or do to him. Some people have always denied this. Some deny it rather emphatically, even calling such a claim exclusionary, arrogant, or just plain dull-minded stupidity to place entire trust in the God of David. Some say there are many different approaches to finding spiritual health. It's known by many names, enlightenment, finding truth, uncovering God in you, and even becoming the God you really are. But David would take exception to anything but bowing humbly before the one true living God. When Joshua was about to lead God's people, the new nation of Israel, across Jordan into the Promised Land, he told them to choose. He made it specific. This is what he said. Fear the Lord and serve him wholeheartedly. Put away forever the idols your ancestors worshipped when they lived beyond the Euphrates River and in Egypt. Serve the Lord alone. But if you refuse to serve the Lord, then choose today whom you will serve. Would you prefer the gods your ancestors served beyond the Euphrates? Or will it be the gods of the Amorites in whose land you now live? But as for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. For you today, when it comes to God, you only get one choice, and one of those choices will be right, and all the others wrong. That's why Jesus said there's a broad road that leads to destruction, and a very narrow road which leads to life. Choose wisely. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.